This is WorkSpan TV and I'm Rose Stanley. Today we're going to be talking about the USDA's Innovative Excellence Award winning Turbocharged Telework Program. My guest today is Mika Cross, who is also a recipient of the 2013 AWLP Rising Star Award. Mika, tell me, is the Turbocharge program a part of the Telework Enhancement Act of 2010? Well, Rose, in part, yes. Certainly, we worked hard to meet all of the requirements of the Telework Enhancement Act by the deadline of June 2011. But even more so, turbocharged telework was a way for USDA to recognize that we really needed to push the program in an uh, innovative way to ensure that it resonated well within our culture. I understand that there are three components to the program. Can you tell us about those three components? Uh, the first component actually was delivering a series of virtual interactive webinars. We entitled them Let's Talk Telework and the name was really designed to help foster a very open forum, casual conversation where folks could join us, ask questions, they could submit uh, topics of interest in advance for the next session. And so we held about eight of them in 2012. We trained close to 2,000 employees in just eight hours. The second component was a revision of the USDA policy. We recognized that as a flexible workplace program, we really needed to be adaptive to what we would learn um, in implementing that new policy. And we knew right off the bat that we'd have to revise it based on how it was resonating within our culture, our employees' feedback, our labor organizations. The other component is a national participation in Telework Week. So the annual event of National Telework Week, which is held in March of every year, we really push to get leadership buy-in and executive level champions and support for this initiative. We determined that it would be an opportunity for USDA to really push telework overall, but specifically for that week, ensuring that folks that might not have tried telework before have an opportunity to do so. We tied it into continuity of operations planning. In 2011, we had 529 pledges overall, and that's across the department. In 2012, we jumped to over 7,600 pledges. And because of turbocharged telework, we saw nearly 10,000 pledges this year in the National Telework Week campaign. You know, with, there's been a lot of press lately about uh, other organizations and their view on telework. And so I would like to ask, what is USDA's vision of telework and how they approach it? Well, certainly first and form foremost, we want to ensure alignment with the enactment's requirements. And really, there's three tenets to that. So ensuring continuity of operations planning. Secondly, management effectiveness. So unearthing those efficiencies that are related to telework, such as environmental sustainability, um, space utilization reductions, transit subsidy cost uh, avoidance, and those sorts of things. Even costs associated with productivity, um, absenteeism, sick leave usage, and engagement overall. And finally, ensuring that our employees have an overall flexible and supportive workplace where they feel like they can also take care of those commitments outside of the workplace so that they can bring their best to work each and every day. So Mika, in, in those terms, how do you think uh, from USDA's uh, viewpoint, has it contributed to the goals of your organization? Well, first and foremost, in the last few years, we've had several events to really test that continuity of operations concept <laughs> from Hurricane Sandy to earthquakes to snowstorms and, and other issues that could prevent our folks from coming into work. We've really been able to test the infrastructure of our telework ready cadre of employees and it's been quite effective. In addition, we've seen enormous cost savings with regards to employees' personal commuting expenses. So what does success look like then for USDA in terms of telework programs and what you then report back up to uh, upper management? At USDA, we track telework program participation and approvals um, in a very aggressive manner. So I track it every pay period as well as monthly. I look at the total number of eligible work workers. I look at the total number of approved agreements as well as individual employees who are coding time to telework. And together that paints a picture of how we're doing progressively each and every month and throughout 
overall the, the fiscal year. We provide those reports to agency leadership all the way up to our Secretary of Agriculture. So success for this program means that we're meeting our participation goals and even more so, a very inclusive and diverse workforce. We look for ways that telework can enhance recruitment of our military veterans, recruitment of individuals with disabilities and targeted disabilities, and just to ensure that we have an overall diverse workforce, as well as attracting the next generation of federal workers. Mika, thank you for joining us today, and also congratulations to USDA on winning the Seal of Distinction Award this year. For World at Work, I'm Rose Stanley.